Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you my new black soup shampoo. Um, of course, you have your black soup, you have your chili powder, you have your chopping board, your knife, um, and also the clean bowl where you put and dissolve and mix in properly. Okay, so what's new about this black soap shampoo is the fact that I'll be using my cheddar, like I'm going to be infusing cheddar into this black soap. Um, so that's really what's in it. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut my black soap into small chunks that would help it um, dissolve a lot more faster. And no wasting of time there. Okay, so um, what's the reason for me um, coming up with this new black soup shampoo? Okay, so I changed my hair to me. I've been following me for a while. You know that I actually use a lot of things. Yes, I have been using a lot of things over here. So lately, I decided to just stick with each other and just use each other for the day. All the ingredients we And to do that, I have to add a little bit of everything around my hair, from the oils down to the water, down to black soap shampoo, down to, you know, down to my foundation. I have to add a little bit of everything. So I do not mean salt in any of the ingredients. So I can continuously use it for a very long time. The other times I have been using a lot of stuff, um, I didn't use it like this, so I'll just use it for about, um, about a week or two and then I'll just leave it go a bit. Okay, so but now I've decided to use chili for a very long time and the only way to do that is to add it to everything that I use for my hair. And um, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. So I'm going to share with you after now the very end of my cheddar oil, my cheddar butter and also my cheddar conditioner. Okay, so stay tuned and watch out with that. So after adding my black sugar into the bowl, I add my cheddar butter and allow it to dissolve. So at this point, it's a lot more dissolved. We have very few chunks of soup. I'm just going to add my cheddar powder and we have two spoons of cheddar powder into this black section and the around just keep stirring to um, all the chili has I really say that the chili has to be infused but just keep stirring to help it infuse properly into the shampoo stir 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 <laughs> okay so when it has infused for a while you're going to go ahead to use your stocking cup not you, I went ahead to use my stocking cup. <laughs> my stocking cup and a cup to see if this. Now, um, using a stocking cup would help you um, it would prevent a lot of particles from getting into your shampoo. Now, cherry has very small particles that you have to prevent from getting to your hair because when they get to your hair they stick so much to your hair and it takes a lot of extra work to get it out um, so just try to avoid that and the only way to try to avoid that is what you use in seaweed okay even the black soup also has particles that after it has dissolved sometimes you have stones and sand inside so you need to avoid all of that from getting to your hair so after sieving um, okay also be very careful you don't squeeze whatever your sieving is maybe you have those very tiny sieves you can use those i don't have that um so that's why i'm using stocking cup 
person with you. Using whatever you're using, very carefully with how you squeeze it to avoid those particles you were preventing from getting into the shampoo, getting into the shampoo again. That's going to be like <laughs> removing one problem and giving it off another problem. So who's going to try to transfer it to a positive number storage? Um, I really wasn't very careful, so I got a little bit So when you're doing this, please be very careful. And this is my black surgery.